I mean, it's all this inflation, the cost of living. I mean, this money goes nowhere now. Don't remind me. Do you know the only way I can make ends meet is mm. by putting my two youngest in the same nappy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the price of everything is ridiculous. I got some fish through the week. A rainbow trout cost 75p. Only had one gill. <laughs> it was laid on my plate, so the vinegar off my chips. <laughs> and meat, that butch, it's 12. Two loin chops, 56p. That's 12 and a half shillings in the old money. <laughs> well, great. I'm sure there's no living. I just do not trust that butcher on the crescent. What, him with the bad breath and the acne? That's the one. Oh. <laughs> do you know, I don't know where he gets his meat from. He charged me £1.85p for a leg of lamb. Who did it? Do you know? It was so thin, I'm sure it was pinned to the skewer with celery. Oh! <laughs> with a monkey, that one. Oh. Well, I flicked cigarettes just in his empty scale once, and it weighed eleven pounds. <laughs> Do you know we bought a turkey off him last year? Yeah. When I plucked it, I found a shrapnel scar. <laughs> Our bird lifted one of his wings, and we found somebody written underneath. Kilroy was here. <laughs> well, you were a fool. I mean, you should have had a cape on. With the money Bert gives me, I'm lucky to have a jumper on. <laughs> it's all right for you, sister. Oh, don't. You married well when you married Lennon. I made a big mistake, and I know it when I married him. He's always out of work, my Bert. He's been on the dole so often now, the Labour Exchange have asked him to MC the staff dancing. <laughs> my mother would write I should never have married oh, my cause see her face to be oh, dying day on. old. No, no, Keep your on. bowels open and trust in God to you. <laughs> I just now ask you. <laughs> I can't go I mean, anymore. I'm sure your Bert has hidden facets. Oh, he's a big love, thank God. <laughs> I mean, you can't live off that all your life, can you? More's the pity. <laughs> hey, I saw your Bert coming out of the bookies the other day. Oh, he's always got money for that. Oh, yes. oh, he's got money for that. I tell you what, I didn't like the look of him. Well, I don't miss Albury's good to the kid. <laughs> no, I've never told you this before, but I've always felt, well, it's a bad mother. Oh, that's very nice of you to say so. Well, I don't know. Leonard's been, you've done very well with Leonard. And oh, well, I must say. You've made a good marriage for yourself, yeah. but you seem to live so much better than we do. You, you always have dripping on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must confess, we do have the odd little luxury, oh, you, you know. Do. Yes, campion chips. Oh, I've seen those tins of empty lusty soups oh, outside yeah. of the dustbin. <laughs> <laughs> They're not cheap, are they? No. Last week we had Coco Van. Oh, we tried that once, but there's no room in our mini. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, your mind is on one level. I blame Bert for this, you know. He's, you've Bert. never been the same since you married him. I don't, I haven't forgotten that wedding. Ooh. I mean, you'd scarcely cut the cake before he was dragging you up upstairs. <laughs> I didn't give you time to get your socks off. Oh, I know. <laughs> now I've charmed in this a bloody pair. Rode last night without her husband, then? By God, sissy, you don't miss much from behind those male order tools, do you? Mm -hmm. Eh? If you must know, I was putting an organdy flounce in our Miriam's frock. <laughs> She's a runner-up for Miss Runcorn. <laughs> and Bert went out to put some manure on his allotment. Yes, I think half the street knew about that. <laughs> Rushing up and down, shouting that word, manure. I mean, it's so common. Why don't you get him to say fertiliser? Fertiliser? It took me ten years to get him to say manure. <laughs> Anyway, I was on my own. I just had a cup of Sinatra gin and a Gary Baldy. <laughs> I thought I'll treat myself, so I went to the pictures on my own. Oh. Do you know, I don't know what's coming over modern life today, but I had to change my seat three times in the pictures because of men. No. <laughs> Were you interfered with? Eventually. <laughs> I say a chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> Hey, do you remember? Do you remember when we were single and we used to go to the Roxy with those Australian soldiers? Oh, eh? don't remind me, eh? <laughs> Randy buggers. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't they just? <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> Didn't you keep in touch with them just after the war? Oh, of course I did. I'd have been a fool not to. They called him Big John. <laughs> oh, that yes, was the one. So, uh, mind you, <laughs> mind you, but it was a very tragic business. All that. Well, what happened? Well, after he got demolished. You know, we went to Africa. Ooh. Yes. And it was during those Mau Mau uprisings, Ooh. you see. <laughs> yes. He got caught and hung by the Katangas. <laughs> <laughs> a 
devil, way to go. <laughs> With some rock chairs to his eyes. Yes, mind you, he was a wonderful man, you know. He was a fine-looking oh, fella. He was, he was. He was billabong. Oh. <laughs> he was very fond of animals, you know. Was he? Oh, he loved animals, yes. Did you ever see his wallaby? <laughs> I never really got that close. <laughs> anyway, there were happy days. It's all water uh, under the bridge now. Time flies in other years. It, it just flies, doesn't yeah. it? Here, I, mean, I know what I meant to tell you. Last Tuesday night, Len and I went out for a meal. Oh, I saw you with your CNA flock and your blue rinse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes, we went to the hunting lodge. Oh, that place behind the brickwork? Yes. <laughs> very expensive, isn't it? Oh, yes, but worth every penny. Oh, very nice. Yes, we started off, we had consommé St. Julien. <laughs> Followed by uh, roast pheasant oh. and pineapple, pineapple chunks. Very nice. Mm -hmm. You didn't bother with soup then? <laughs> How else? He gave me a book by a gourmet and they mentioned pheasant in it. And I thought I would love to do it from Bert when he comes in from shifts. You know, he's on the wall of death as a mechanic. <laughs> I thought I couldn't. He'd really enjoy that as a sort of snack, but I heard somewhere, man, this. I might have got the story wrong, but I was told that you couldn't eat pheasant unless it, well, it stinks. Yes, it stinks. <laughs> Honestly, did you have to be so crass? I'm only asking you an opinion. Stink, 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 indeed. Stink. There's no stink about it. Uh, I didn't know that. A pheasant must be hung until it smells gamey, you see. Oh, I see yes, what you mean. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes the, the, the secret of a good pheasant, you must have one that's well hung. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> I know what I meant to tell you. Do you remember Harry Hargreaves? Oh, the little bald fella, stiff little man. That's him. Married Miriam out of the quad. That's him. The bacon counter. That's her. When she got divorced, she lived in that little court, little house. That was right. condemned number 42. That's right, she had to boil every drop of water. Oh, it was a terrible yeah. mess. Ah, oh. She was full of blue unction. Oh. She had really much trouble with her legs, and I was strapped up for weeks. Spent a fortune on embrocation. Oh, did she really? Oh. Yes, Fire I Jack, you can smell it in the street. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> I was having a cup of tea and an open sandwich in Lewis's. Well, oh, I believe it's marvellous there. Oh, marvelous. yes. Oh, Fresh tomatoes, oh, well, English tomatoes. Well, I mean, they had to do something, you know, after that terrible trouble when they found that mucky bandage in a cream hole. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, the monkeys! Oh, yes. Well, anyway, they told me that after jogging in the park, Harry Hargreaves was taken home with a hiatus hernia. <laughs> well, that's funny. He always went home on a motorbike. <laughs> Everything all right, Ada, love? Oh, not so bad, apart from my back. I've been a martyr with my back ever since I was pulled out the rubble by the ARP, you know. <laughs> I got my hot flushes as well. I'm all right, apart from that. Only I thought you were looking a little bit down, you peaky. see. Peaky. Mm, a bit peaky. And I haven't seen Bert for three months. What's he doing? Three months. <laughs> um, back to his old ways again, eh? Well, I blame you. You've only yourself to blame. I you know. should have got rid of him years ago, eh? I know. I, I mean, know. from the day you married him, you've never got on. Don't remind me, even at the wedding reception, we had separate cakes. <laughs> well, I mean, I never liked him, as you know. His eyes were too close together. <laughs> My mother, God rest her soul, she used to say, he fathered a stoat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, do you know, I always suspected that he had bent tendencies. <laughs> They look normal enough to me, and I brought three of them. You're, you're, you're pig ignorant. Thank you you really much. are. I mean, let's face it, when you were courting, you must have known about his antisocial leaning. Oh, he told me all about it, but they seemed to clear up when he had his appliance. <laughs> What's he inside for this time, anyway? Oh, so stupid. He bought an old car so he could pick his dough money up quicker. <laughs> he was coming back on the North Circular Road, he got a puncture. He was just changing the wheel and a car drove up, a fella got out and opened his bonnet. Oh, Merth, whatever happened then? We were blazing. It would be. He said, what the hell are you doing? The fella said, if you're having the tyres, I'll have the battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yes, I bet. Hey, what did Bert do then? Oh, you know, it's like his temper. Hair trigger his temper. Oh, yes. Do you remember the night of the Johnsons? Oh, Wedding well. anniversary with that sliver of tripe went down the ear trumpet. Oh, <laughs> well, he hit this fella, and this bloke fell very awkwardly across one of those things that stick up outside road junctions, you know. Ballards. No, he burted him on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> Just lay there, sprawl. 
the police have him for assault. Oh, Edda, look. Well, what, whatever happened when you got to court? I mean, did Bert have an advocate? He just had a lag and alarm, that was all. <laughs> and the judge says, is this the first time you've been up before me? And what did Bert say? He said, I don't know what time you normally get up. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what. I saw that you had all the family over yesterday. Oh, wrong. Must have been quite an occasion. I counted three tins of salmon, a cos lettuce, a dish of apricots, not to mention a full can of pineapple chunks. <laughs> I saw them when I was hoovering our Raymond's bedroom. <laughs> My God, you don't miss much from behind those mail order tools, do you? <laughs> I mean, wait a minute, you can't see into our kitchen from your Raymond's bedroom. Well, you can if you stand on top of the wardrobe. <laughs> Now, come on, Chuck, tell me, what was it all about? The family get together, they're all up to discuss how we're glad she's, oh. she's getting married in just under three weeks. Oh, <laughs> my gum, she doesn't let grass grow under her feet, does she? She's only known that fella seven months. I mean, even by today's standards, it's a bit quick, isn't it? I <laughs> <laughs> look what else to do. She's not... She hasn't fallen. She's not... Oh. She's, uh... I thought it was a false alarm at first, but it's positive she's had the frog test. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind telling you, sis. No. If mother was alive now, this shot would kill her. <laughs> I've only just got over that, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I was in the kitchen cooking the boiled ham for the funeral. <laughs> Lovely corn. I got it from the co-op. You're not a good <laughs> Stiff fellow with a funny leg. That's right, yes. Yeah. Didn't his son run a shoemaking shop in Dorking? He did very well, That's right. Oh, yes, he did very well. Ooh. You know, he had three cobblers under him, you know. <laughs> Takes all sorts to make a will. <laughs> I was just basting the ham and I heard my mother call out in that little piping voice oh, she had, which always belied her years. Oh, you know? he did, he did. And I don't know what, I just was rooted to the spot. I just couldn't. I had these flushes. And the back of my head with that migraine, it's never... Oh, you still get it. Oh, still get them. They can't do anything. The no. specialist says I'm a miracle, you know, to be doing what I'm doing, you know. But... <laughs> and I don't know how I got into the bedroom, but she said, come quickly, come quickly. She said, I'm slipping away. I thought she was falling off the bed. I mean... <laughs> and she, she was there on the bed, and she'd, she'd thrown the Whitney blankets off. She was sat up, she was turning black. She said, we'll always be sweethearts. And she put her arm out just like a faggot. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's heartrending. And I don't know where she got the strength from, but she gri gripped the sleeve. You remember that organdy flounce blouse I bought? Okay. With those coordinates from CNN. Oh, well, you always look nice in that. I wore it at Whipsnade, you know. Did, no. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry to burden you like this, because I'm going to join your father. In <laughs> she said, whatever you do, look after her. I'm glad that she's backwards. Well, she's well in front now. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you one thing, eh? I'll tell you one thing. I was just so relieved when our marigold went down the aisle in oh, white. She looked beautiful, didn't Mind you, we invited the deputy mayor, you oh. know, well, with Leonard being a Freemason. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, I've, I've never said this to you before, but I've always been slightly envious. Have you, though? You've always done so well for yourself. I know he's nothing to look at, but he did well in the audit department, didn't he, or Leonard? Well, I must say, it's come on a bit. I was a fool, I just married for lust along here today, I'll never know. It's most embarrassing. If you ask me, it's a lot of fuss about nothing. Not to me, it isn't. I'm going to report Ethel Johnson to the authorities, and that's that. I've just about had enough of that woman, and she's brought me old attack back. I really am sick of her. It's criminal the way she allows that dog, that bull mastiff, to roam all over the place. All over me plants, it. <laughs> <laughs> all my lupins are blanched. <laughs> I mean, dogs do that sort of thing. It's natural. Not when the lupins are in a window box, it isn't. <laughs> it's not only that. Bert came home the other night, pity late. He'd been to the clinic over his veruca. Oh, it's not flared up again. Oh, he's I having think. trouble with that. Oh. He's got a fist on his back as big as a grapefruit. Oh. Nothing but suffer that. Fell off your bit, Lance, you know, eventually. He came in late and she started screaming and banging on the wall with the heel of a shoe. Oh, well, now that, now that I do agree is bad. Very bad. I mean, a, a man must have his sleep. Oh, luckily, Bert wasn't asleep. He was playing his trumpet at the time. <laughs> yeah, the worst day's work you ever did when you married him. I know, I mean, he's shiftless, irresponsible, bone idle. And those are his good points. <laughs> if Mother could see me now, I remember just my dying day, the way she lay there. 
Hold it on to this synotogen. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't marry him, he's foot loose. When I was young and impressionable, I wouldn't listen. No. If I'd have known then what I know now, I'll tell you, sissy, I wouldn't have let him have his way with me. You're not telling me that you uh, indulged Bert's carnal desires in some kind of premarital excess. Nose in the back of a Morris Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you are pig ignorant at times? Very much. Much. Really are. <laughs> I mean, you must have known about his criminal record. Well, no, I just thought it was youthful pranks. When he went into Woolworths and pinched those cashew nuts. You see, he was never any good at being a criminal. I mean, when he, when he was accused of a smashing grab robbery, he got arrested for stealing the brick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to see him in court, and that's when I really... Oh, he was magnificent in the dock. Was it? He stood there with his hair gleaming with coconut oil, <laughs> like a bronze Dodonis, ripping the mahogany rail of the barn. He thundered to the judge in a Stenorian voice. He said, I don't recognise this court. Then the judge said, why not? But said you've had it decorated. That's how we got that far. Thank you for coming with me, sister. I couldn't have come to the hospital on my own. I'm Oh, that's, that's all right, love. I mean, what are friends for but to help out in moments of crises? Don't worry, love. It's, it'll be nothing serious. I don't know. I keep getting these hot flushes. I, I look after myself. I'm always regular, but I keep getting these flushes. <laughs> the other day in the kitchen, I was putting a suet crust on the mince and veg pie. You know, Bert likes a bit of mince when he comes yeah. in. It. I had to grab hold of the spin dry to stop myself going over on the line. Up. <laughs> I've told you before, but you won't have it. I mean, you must expect these flushes at your time of life. Are you suggesting that I'm going through the chain? <laughs> well, I mean, let's face it, love. I mean, it's many a long year since you managed to squirm into a junior myth. Well, thank you very much indeed. So I'm over the hill, am I? Well, no, I wouldn't say that exactly. <laughs> let's just say from now on you'll be looking down the valley. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know I'm only 39 and some months. How many months? 75. <laughs> well, of course, you don't look after yourself, that's your trouble. I mean, look at me. I mean, for my age, I'm quite well preserved. Not surprised you're always pickled. <laughs> that's an outrageous thing to oh, say. Oh, come on, you like that. I mean, Leonard and I are devotees of abstinence. Oh. So that's why the bedroom curtains are always drawn, is it? <laughs> you have to that as well. That is the wicked thing. We haven't done, done it. I mean, we haven't been... Well, I mean, not for a long time. Bert seems to have lost interest these days. More's the pity. <laughs> anyway. God's good. Tell can do. Did you see the news the other day? Oh. Did she tell you how a Miriam? Sissy side bottom. Sissy side oh. bottom. Cut off in a prime. Yeah. I'd just come out of Tesco's for some domestics. You know, the cat's been knocked with it. Oh. <laughs> and I bumped into Edna and Trevor. And they told me she would. <laughs> Never had a day's difference to that. No. So I went round to the house to see her before they put the lid on. Yes, I did. I did. I thought she looked very well. Oh, she did look well that week in Margate. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. Hello, sissy oh, dear. You know, you've given me quite a turn. I oh. never expected to see you in a library. Oh, well, I... Have you taken to books? No, I've no time for books, you know. I've got too much on my plate. Oh. Bert's out of work again, you know. He's bought a car so he can drive past jobs. <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, our, our Velma came back from sewing class with a rupture. So I've got no chance at all of doing anything. I'm just up to my eyeballs. No, I'm not coming for myself. I've come in for Bert. I thought. Yes, he wants a book. Huh? Something to do with the scent of plants and flowers. Oh, you mean horticulture. That's right, yeah. Yes. yes. What's the title of the book? The Perfume Garden. <laughs> Devil. What do you mean, <laughs> dirty devil? That's all he ever thinks about. You know what the perfume garden is, don't you? No, I don't. Well, it's a book on. Uh... Oh, God, go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a Hindu sex manual. Oh, sh well, what's the difference between them and I mean? Well, you see, they do it. Uh, you see. <laughs> Ooh. With one leg in the air and the foot in the air. No wonder there's so damn many of them. <laughs> so 
Well, I mean, you can tell. I mean, oh. they wouldn't have a boot like that here. Not in a branch. No, that's very true. No, no, they'd think it too risky, you see. The state boots in it would be damn risky. <laughs> Between you and I, he has to wear the harness. <laughs> well, I can talk to you, can't I? Oh, my lips are sealed, go on. He's not, pro he's not performed properly since VE night. <laughs> He was on a Catherine wheel, went up his leg. Oh. <laughs> then he got a bad chest. Oh. Oh. Ada, you are so pig ignorant, it's well, thank you very much, it really it? does. Why don't you take to reading the books? It won't do you any harm. They're very educational oh, books, I don't are. know it. I mean, you take my Leonard, he's always reading. Do you know he's on his second trial? Oh! <laughs> With the look of him, I don't think he could manage one. <laughs> It's not Lannis Allsop, is it, from number 42? No, it is. A trollop's a writer. Oh, I didn't know, Joe. I didn't know. Look, why don't you choose something nice and light? Well, something I romantic. Oh, oh nice. now, there's a good one. Oh, that's so, good. Souls on fire. Ooh, reminds me of my feet. Mm. <laughs> I cannot give you said I'm a walking miracle. So the way you hobble about, I've just got no idea. I've got an ingrowing toenail, oh. I've got a bunion sprout in the other, I've got a heel right and a broom. <laughs> Those shoes, you want to get rid of them? I can't get rid of these. We've got no money coming. I've got to put up with these. You say, well, I've got to be, quite frankly, love. The only pleasure I get out of life is taking the damn things off. I wanted to tell you, I was rinsing the curtains through. You know, those tools that I got from your Miriam's catalogue? You've not paid for them yet. Well, it was last Sunday, anyway, and I was rinsing them through, and I suddenly spotted you and Bert going out with your Elsie and Alf. Uh, off the other day, were you? By God, you don't miss a damn much, do you, sissy? We started off at half past five in the morning. <laughs> yes, well, I just happened to be up early that day. I had a lot of things to do. I had to sew an organdy flounce on our Brenda's ship. Oh. Then I had to polish the silver cruet that Auntie Elsie left us. <laughs> you know, her that died at the health farm. Oh, it was a tragedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I made our Leonard a cup of tea before he went to the allotment. Oh, the allotment. Mm -hmm. He's still got the allotment. Yes, yeah. my Andrew's had a bad season oh, there. Oh, tea? it's been terrible. Oh. You know his wisteria's withered. <laughs> I thought I saw him limping the other day. <laughs> well, anyway, I just, I just put my brisket in, you know, because I like to do it four hours, and I saw you all trooping off. Uh, where did you go, Chuck? I can't believe you must know. We went to a stately home near Reading. Oh. Horse Bottom Towers. Oh. <laughs> Bert took some photographs, you know. Those that develop instantly. Oh. Do you know I didn't know Bert had a Polaroid? <laughs> Oh, he's suffered for me years, for years. <laughs> that's why when he goes in the bath, he has to have a rubber ring. <laughs> to give him back up years ago, you know, that rally. Yeah, mm -hmm. went. Anyway, then we went on to an old safari park. Oh, no. And that's when the trouble started. Oh, wow. Bert lost his teeth. <laughs> what happened was he got them stuck in an apple. He forgot me through the corner to outrage the orangutan. <laughs> it was making very obscene gestures towards him. The next thing is the flaming monkey came down the mountain. No. Climbed over the wire mesh and it closed it. Bert was off like a shot. Oh. <laughs> it grabbed hold of me and it took me behind the lion house. It got me into some dwarf gladiola eyes. And he started to take me clothes off. Oh! Hey, look, whatever did you do? Well, Bert, I, well, I saw Bert as usual, the boss of his hand, you know, he's like. And I shouted for help, I said, what should I do? Yes, and what did Bert say? He said, do what you always do, tell me you've got a headache. <laughs> 